Okay, I see something up ahead. Ah, so close. Well, that'll be good for uh, photographing a little bit. Walk a little bit higher up on the on the beach here. Let's see if there's anything of interest. Alright, let's head back down by the water. If you're like my dad and love beachy adventures, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Oh, and there's an orange jingle. Nice. Couple scallops. Wow, that's a that's a pretty big scallop. Taco. In October of 2018, the Panhandle was hit by Hurricane Michael, with landfall taking place in this area. Mexico Beach was hit hard and several iconic businesses were either removed from the landscape or severely damaged. However, as I saw in this visit, after months of cleanup and lots of hard work, the businesses are reopening and visitors have returned. Such a nice area to visit. Oh, what's that up ahead? Nice. Beautiful Mexico Beach Caco. Ah, so close. Small base scallop. Oh, something shining on the beach. Look at that piece. It's going to the sun. So close. It's the closest I've come to finding an angel wing in a long time. It's so close. Lots of arcs. Well, that looks like a uh, Pretty, pretty cool scallop there. Cockle, arcs, clams. Oh man, now that is a jellyfish and a half. Nice scalp. Lots of, there's a kitten's paw. 
Lots of crossbar Venus here today. I haven't been here in a couple years, actually. Probably a few months before Michael, so it's been a couple years. I think the last time I was here, there were a few more shells. Every day is different. higher up and see oh look at the colors on that cock oh beautiful we'll throw that one in Go over here in the sun that one's nice and shiny oh so close that would have been a, a big fig up here collecting the cockles oh well, that's a nice scallop So close, look at that. That bonnet would have been huge. Coral frag. Pretty cool. Another coral frag. Grab that taco. Sharp looking jingle there. Grab this base scallop. be was that a coral frag and the whelk well let's grab that one that one's a whopper
close. That would have been a dandy. Another piece of one. Piece of glass. All right, so let me show you what we're shelling. So tide's a little lower. We have a line right there. And then we'll come up here. There's a middle rack line. And then up here, and I don't know how long ago, You have a higher rack line. I'd call it a historical rack line because the shells are covered. If you look up there, and we've been up there a couple times, found shells up there. All right, here, let's walk up here and I'll show you. So this is the high, high rack line see a lot of the shells have sand blown over them but no footprints up here so it's possible to walk through here and find some shells that no one's even picked through let's walk a little bit farther up I see quite a few shells you can just see some of these pieces standing up but they appear to be broken Nonetheless, in the, you can see there are no footprints here. Never know, maybe we'll find one of those intact bonnies up here. Let's see how this base scallop looks. Oh, so close. A little broken on the bottom. How about this cockle? going out a little bit let's go see what's up with this cockle here a few more shells exposed I don't know if I want to <laughs> go out there and check that one out I ah, know it's like I would definitely get wet This is your first time stopping by on Beach Bum and Dad, and I share life's adventures. So if you're like me, love sand between the toes, picking up shells, and well, all things beachy, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future content. And another nice taco. I figured since that's uh, a tactic up in the panhandle to check where the waves break for shells, I'd go peak, but it'd be in the 30s. Well, look at them rolling in there. But to be in the 30s, I'm not really in the mood to. Go out there and get wet. The hooded mergans are out there. That's pretty cool. Another 
piece of glass up ahead. I wonder if this is left over from the storm. Well, I bet you the Gulf floor is just covered with debris. Another cackle for the collection. Big arc there. Scallop. All right. Oh, <laughs> water's coming up. Oh, oh, what's that up ahead? I saw a sand dollar. Oh, there it is. Right there. Nice. That's a nice one. First Mexico Beach sand dollar. Nice scallop. One's kind of cool. A couple kittens paws right next to each other. All right, so my hands are full. I have shells in my right hand, shell bag in the left, camera in the left hand. All right, let's just walk along and see what we can find together. All right, up ahead looks pretty good. Let me put these in the shell bag and we'll run up ahead. here and it's a pretty big one. I think it's looking all right. All right, we'll grab that in a minute. Still have that sand dollar in my pocket. Should I get this part there? A little bit of pink in it. All right, let me set down the sand dollar and go back to that cockle. How clean this one is. Look at that. Oh, well, you gotta watch. Oh, look at that one. You gotta watch out for the waves, they sneak right up on you. That's a pretty base gallop. Florida. Look at the spines there. It's probably my best panhandle spiny jewel box. And no one picked it up. A couple shellers have come by. No one picked it up. All right, we shelled a couple miles of beach here, walking back and forth. Let's jump in the car and find a different spot. 